This is about the structure of the eye, and we're going to look at it from the point light hits the front of the eye to the point light hits the back of the eye. The first thing that light hits is the cornea, and that refracts light. Then light travels into the eye through the pupil. The job of the iris, the coloured bit around the pupil, is to control how much light enters the pupil. Light then travels through the lens, which focuses the light, and finally, light hits the back of the eye, called the retina, which contains light receptors. Information is then carried to the brain by the optic nerve. Now, the lens is able to change shape, and the eye is able to change focus by the ciliary muscles and the suspensory ligaments changing the shape of the lens. This is called accommodation. Animals are either monocular or binocular. Lizards have monocular vision, which means their eyes are on either side of their head. This helps them because they have a wide field of view, but they have very poor judgment of distance. Humans have binocular vision. Both their eyes are on the same side of their face, side by side. This means that they have a narrower field of view and blind spots but they are much better to judge distances. You also need to know some problems associated with eyesight. Red-green colour blindness occurs only in men and it means that they can't tell the colours red and green apart. This is caused by a lack of specialised cells in their retinas. People can either be long or short-sightedness. This happens when the eyeball or the lens is the wrong shape. Now normally we can correct this by wearing glasses or contact lenses but it can also be corrected by corneal surgery as well.